without an extra floor camera. And I thought it was worth uh, I think looking at the difference of the quality that I noticed between the full frame camera that I normally shoot with. Patrick's having issues with the camera setup. Yeah, I don't have that with an action camera. I don't have to adjust anything. Just point and shoot. All well, the hassle with the camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm just click it and, and shoot. Yeah, you have all the stuff to take care of. Good morning. Welcome to this video, and welcome to the Leende Heide, my favorite bit of countryside in Brabant, I think. It's Bruno Einzhoven, and we have a very special guest today. Hello, Patrick Laprel. My friend from Focus Bike. Oh, hey. hey! He is visiting me for two days. We have to go left here. Uh, just to chat about life, future, kids, those kind of things. And one camera that we talked a lot about in particular is the camera that I'm filming on now. Because I'm filming on DJI's brand new Action 4 uh, action camera. Uh, it's going to be released in two weeks. I got a chance to test it out pre-launch, so that's what we're gonna do today. I received it yesterday, so I didn't really get a chance to test it yet. I looked over the specs, those look very good, but I'm very curious to see after today's ride, image quality, audio quality, because uh, for the last two years, I've been using on all my gravel rides, all the ultra races that we do. I didn't bring a big camera like Patrick yesterday. Oh, by the way, Patrick is not just my friend from Focus, but Patrick is also the Patrick Rilla from the Rilla camera strap. This is the guy who designed and makes them. Uh, but normally on gravel rides, mountain bike rides, ultras, I always take just an extra camera. In the last couple of years, I've used the DJI Action 2, which was a very cool concept because it was a really small camera with a separate sort of battery compartment and SD card slot. Loved using that, very good for getting all the action filming stuff quick but over the last two years DJI has improved the specs of that camera by bringing out the Action 3 and now the Action 4 camera and I think looking at sort of the difference of quality that I noticed between the full frame camera that I normally shoot with and then the Action 2 I thought it would be worth upgrading to a camera that maybe bridges that gap a little bit where this quality comes closer to the quality of an actual full frame camera so in today's ride maybe we can discover if it actually does that. So how I'm holding the camera is with the same mouth mount that I always use. So I can put it in my mouth really easily, like this. Oh, you got to uh -huh. <laughs> Which is how I film all my shots where I uh, do a lot of action. So I want to have both hands on the handlebars. I see we took a wrong turn. Again. Let's turn around. So it's easier for you than for me. <laughs> so if there's a lot of action happening, I just put the camera in my mouth and film whatever is happening in front of me or next to me. It's definitely easier, I can notice. Yeah. You don't have to check the settings, yeah. just press record and you get extremely good quality. Other than being able to hold it in your mouth and it being way smaller, that's probably the biggest advantage over using a camera like this. That all the settings, like most of it is automatic. Yeah. So you don't have to, when you're in the heat of the moment, in a race or in a downhill, don't have to think about the settings that you can set on a full frame camera. Just click the record button and it does all the thinking for you. The less hassle it is to use, the more often you use it. Yeah. And I think also with that camera, I mean, it is already less than other stuff, especially with the Riddle strap, but with that one you just click one button and then... We go to other left. It's too many things happening at the same time. The third benefit of these cameras over proper full frame cameras, stabilization. Because you can never hold a full frame camera steady enough to film like real gravel action, single tracks, that kind of stuff. And with this, the camera does it all for you. Even I think a phone is more hassle to use than an action cam because you have only one button pressed and you get really good quality with the phone yeah. you need to unlock it go to camera press record 
and I definitely think the image quality is also better than the phone. Yeah. Alright, let's uh, hit this gravel road at some speed. Put your camera away. Let's film some action. I think one of the definite upsides of this camera over the Action 2 yeah. is also the battery life. Oh, yeah. I got the Adventure package, it comes with three batteries, and I think each battery has 160 minutes battery life, so that's incredible. I could do a whole Ultra without worrying about charging the camera or doing anything. Well, that's, uh, that's cool. For you, when you make a vlog or so, how much hours do you film for the video you get out? I think, when, I think when I started, yeah. it was always, I filmed 10 hours to make a, or a four, four hours to make a 15 minute video or 10 minute video. Yeah. But the more experienced I got, yeah. the more they became closer together. I think from Tanzania, it's two 20 minute videos and maybe I had two and a half, three hours of footage. So two batteries then, with that one? Uh, for this one? Yeah. Yeah, two, only two batteries for three and a half, that, no, three days ultra race. That's, in my mind, that gives me a lot of peace of mind yeah. that I don't have to think about it at all. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. this camera films in 4k I'm using 4k 30 now because my vlogs are edited always in 30 frames per second but it can also do 4k 60 and 4k 120 so super slow-mo and that's pretty cool all right I've been recording for probably 10 minutes straight now without stopping it is it hot no it doesn't feel hot ah. I also just found the setting for uh, D log colors so uh, uh, a little bit more of a flat color profile so I can change the colors better in post-production. So maybe from now on the colors look a little bit different. Maybe good I can compare which one I like best. Standard setting or D-log or flat profile. Normally on the regular camera I shoot also with a little bit more of a flat profile. An upside about uh, that audio could be then nobody hears your chain. Do you hear my chain? Yeah, of course. My chain? Yeah. Wow. Yes. It's been a while since I waxed it. So. <laughs> yeah. What is wax? All my viewers know. Maybe you didn't pay attention in the video. No. You don't watch my videos. Yeah. You? Too boring. Yeah. Take too long. So two layers action. of wax, sometimes three layers of wax, and then you don't touch the chain for 500 kilometers. But now I'm getting close to the 500 kilometers, I think. Maybe I need to re-wax it. What wax do you use? Firm we buy a wax, <laughs> made by Dynamic. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I was trying Finley's new perspective there. Hi, uh, Patrick's trying to film this bridge, but it's almost too late. Ah. Uh. That's really difficult for me now. Here's the most important downside sprint of the day. Tilbert. <laughs> so what is your first impression of the action cam? I think I really like it. We listened to the audio when we were having coffee. Seems to be pretty good. Image quality I can only tell later, but with the size of the sensor, I think that will also be pretty good. Also means low light will be pretty good. So I think I'm going to stick to this, stick to this one. It can go up to 18 meters deep in the water. Huh. That's crazy, huh? And then in your mouth. Straight back into my mouth. That's not so long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we made it back to Tilburg. Time for a beer in the garden, I think. And pizzas. It was also the longest ride this year with a camera for me. 
Fruity, yeah. Peak beer. It's 10 grams of protein. Yeah. <laughs> they make protein beer. Yeah. And that's alcohol free. Oh, amazing. I think this concludes the video. Shout out to DJI for sending me this camera. You can judge for yourself how the footage of this video was. And maybe in the next time, I will film a video with more action. For the cameras. <laughs> maybe a mountain bike, maybe some jumping. <laughs> that kind of stuff. <laughs> I would really want to see you jumping on a bike. I mean, jumping is not a problem. The landing. Yeah. The landing is the thing, huh? I'm, I'm good at landing. I officially invite you to come to Stuttgart and we go for jumping. To the bike park. We can go for jumped. Okay. See you there. I'll see you in the next video. Next week, maybe. Maybe not. Ciao. <laughs>